What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. Today I'm going to be showing you how to spin a frisbee on your finger just like this. Now this is something that will take a lot of practice. It is very difficult. I mean eventually you can do it without looking like I can, but it will take a long time to learn how to do. If you already know how to spin an object like a basketball on your finger, just forget about that because the motion for this is incredibly different. So I know people who have learned to spin the frisbee after knowing how to spin a basketball and they had trouble spinning a basketball afterwards. So try and keep these two things separate in your brain. And if you don't know how to spin a basketball, even better. One thing I should mention first is the bigger an object is, generally the easier it is to spin it on your finger. So if you have a large like tray, cookie sheet, like a large book, something like that, it'll be a lot easier to learn how to spin that than a frisbee. However, if you learn how to spin a frisbee first, you'll be able to basically spin anything after that. So do whatever you want. I first learned how to spin on a frisbee and then was able to pretty much spin any object from there. But if you want to start with something bigger and then work your way up to, or down for talking size, work your way up to a frisbee, then you can do that too. Now the act of spinning an object on your finger like this is called pediddling, where you're basically making small circles around the center of gravity. Now this is different from a basketball where you just hold your finger still and the basketball spins around your finger. So you can either do it on your pointer finger or middle finger. I find the middle finger a lot easier, so I'll be teaching that. And when you do it, you're not just going to stick out your middle finger, you're actually going to support it with your pointer finger. So either having them next to each other just, or wrapped around each other either way actually makes it a little bit easier to spin. So once you bring it towards your body and spin it, you're going to start making the little circles. Now you're making circles the same way the disc is spinning. So if it's your left hand, you're making clockwise circles. And if it's your right hand, you're making counterclockwise circles. In slow motion, it looks like this. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do this with my opposite hand because it'll look a little more like what yours is gonna look like when you first start off. So have your fingers ready. Place the frisbee right center of gravity right on your fingers. Now for me, it's pretty easy because it's raised a little bit where the center is. If your disc isn't like that, what you can do is just place it around the center and just move it around until it stays nice and still. So then from here, you're gonna bring it towards your body. You're gonna spin it towards you. So uh, either way, so if you're spinning it on your right hand, you're going to be one of spinning it counterclockwise. And if it's on your left hand, it'll be spinning clockwise. When you first start off, you're probably only going to be getting a few rotations at a time. And that's okay, because it just takes a lot of practice. You'll slowly work your way up getting a feel for it. And another thing to mention is if you find yourself getting to that center point a lot, you do not want to be doing that. You're going to be spinning around the center. So make sure if you're landing in the center, you're probably doing it a little off. Just keep practicing avoiding the center, getting around the center. And you can notice they're very small circles. They're not very large. And it's not too fast. I'm not whipping my hand around. It's a really slow, smooth motion. And it just takes a lot of practice. So just keep practicing it. You can even end up doing it upside down. This actually is slightly more difficult, so I would recommend doing it the other way first. But really just keep working on it. Keep working your way up until you can get it spinning for longer periods of time. So really there's no secret to it. You really just need to keep practicing, working your way up, and your mind will just eventually know how to do it, and then it will become second nature. So that's about it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I come out with a new tutorial video every Tuesday. And if you have any problems or if you need some more help, please leave a comment below. I'd love to help you out. I understand this is really difficult to learn. So if you have anything that you're having trouble with, I'd love to hear from you. So please leave a comment. So best of luck in learning how to spin a Frisbee. Thank you for watching the entire video. Peace.